hello thanks so much for clicking on the video today we're doing another energy aura um, reading today we have a leo sun pisces moon sagittarius rising look at these colors just an amazing vibe um, with the colors alone so we have a deep um orange but also mixed with some light orange there's a little bit of tiny pink on the card you probably can't see it but it is there and then we have the pisces moon which is this beautiful purple there's some bluish colors in there and then we have the sagittarius rising which is a brilliant yellow with some um, lighter orange in there as well i would say it's more like a burnt orange in there so really cool colors for this aura. So um, let's see what kind of a person this is um, based on their traits uh, through the Zodiac. So for the Leo Sun, we have someone that is loyal, generous, honest, um, confident, very direct. This person is... Um, very loving and fun loving they can often be very egotistical next we have the pisces moon so this person is very misunderstood very spiritual and whimsical very thoughtful imaginative and very sympathetic they can often be very gullible and they can often be shy. For the Sagittarius rising, we have someone that is a networker, someone that is lively and authoritative, vivacious and very wise. They're opinionated and optimistic. They can also be very blunt and are often very active people. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments if you know anyone with any of these. Sun, Moon, Rising, Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius. And let me know if this is what this person is like in your opinion. Very cool colors. I love the colors in this aura. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. And let's get to your yes or no any question. Here we are back again with a yes or no to any question you would like. As always, if you would like me to pull for a specific question, I am available to do that. Just put your question in the comments and I will make a video on that. Also, if there are any other tarot readers out there that would like to collaborate by you doing a video for my channel and I'm doing a video for your channel, I would love to do that. So if you're open, go ahead and email me. That's nkhtarot at gmail.com and we can do that. Um, I also have a PO box in the comment section, I'm sorry, in the description down below. If anybody wanted to send me anything, um, I would love to show it on the channel, especially divination items, but it can be anything at all. I have a few on the other channel, um, where people sent me decks and, and crystals and things like that, and I showed them on there, so... If anybody is open to any of those things, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, that's nkhtarot at gmail.com. Let's jump right in with some answers. So today we're going to go off your Venus sign. Um, this can be found on your birth chart, so hopefully you do know that. If not, I do recommend you getting your birth chart. It will tell you so much information um, me and my family got ours, and when we read them, we were very shocked at how close it got on a lot of things. So go ahead and order your birth chart. There are some free ones online. Um, I can try to link one in the description. Um, All right, we'll go down the list of what your zodiac sign is in Venus. So, let's start with Capricorn. Okay, so if you're Capricorn in Venus, 
You are a reserved and faithful, devoted lover. Your yes or no answer is why would you even ask? Meaning, this is a maybe card, but meaning that you already know this answer, so you shouldn't be asking this question. You already know in your heart and your gut what the answer is, so go with that. So that was Capricorn and Venus. If you are Taurus, you are a sensual and romantic lover. And your yes or no is nah, a no there. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, a very helpful and practical lover. And you, for yes or no, is yes, darling, a yes. Next, we have Scorpio. Scorpio, your yes or no, I'm sorry, you are a passionate and mysterious lover. And your yes or no is indeed a yes. Next up is Cancer. Cancer. You are protective and very empathetic, very nurturing in the love department. And your yes or no cancer is doubtful a no. And next we have Pisces. Pisces in love. You are shy and emotional. Shy, emotional, and intuitive. Your yes or no. More time is necessary. So a maybe card here. More time required for this question. Um, that was Pisces. Next is Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you are open-minded, optimistic, and uninhibited as a lover. And your yes or no is proceed, a yes, Sagittarius. Aries. Aries, you are very impulsive as a lover, strong and independent. And your yes or no is looks a good, a yes. Next, we have Leo. Leo, you are very extravagant and generous in the bedroom. And your yes or no is no, dear, a no there. Gemini, Gemini, you are playful and very lighthearted as a lover. And your yes or no is Universe says yes, a yes for your question. Next up, we have Aquarius. Aquarius, you are unconventional and idealistic. And the answer is no, declined. That was Aquarius. Libra is next. Last but not least. Libra, you are very graceful and charming in the bed. So your yes or no. Of course, a yes for you, Libra. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed another quick pick a card for your zodiac sign. This was just some insight into our Venus, the love department, the love area of our chart. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will come back for the next one. Please make sure you're taking care of yourself. Remember that peace is the purpose. And I will be here in the next one. Bye-bye.